Hi there, it's Jeff Plum from Ping Skills and I've got Simon Gerrata from Health Wellness and Table Tennis with me. Welcome to the Ping Pod, the Ping Pong Podcast by Ping Skills. Today we're talking about the Ping Skills Classic and we want to find out a bit more about Eric Tan and how he plays and whether you should be supporting him. Welcome Simon. Thank you. All right, um, give us a bit of information about Eric Tan. Tell us about his style. Yep. Uh, Eric's a pen grip player. So. Okay, so I think he's the only pen holder in the field. Right. Uh, yeah, so pen grip with uh, the, I guess, Luga Liang technique, so it plays the backhand off the uh, rubber as well as the standard uh, backhand block technique with a good strong forehand loop. Okay, excellent. So, pretend you weren't playing in the tournament, because it's a bit hard for you to, you know, talk about people when you're playing in the tournament, but yeah. if you weren't in there, um, where do you think he would make it? Like, is he going to get to the semi-finals? There's going to be some tough quarter-finals. I, personally, I think he might struggle to make it to the semis. Yeah, Eric's probably a quarter finalist. Um, yeah, playing the top four players in the tournament, he can get on a roll. Eric's yep. the type of player. Once he gets on a roll, he starts firing up and getting in your face and and starting to really get a roll on with his game and starts making his game a bit more difficult for his opponent. So the serves short, you you tend to just push the ball long and he starts hitting more and more third balls. So I've okay. seen him, I've seen him have some good wins against players like Cole Davis. Um, who you know would be a semi-finalist. Okay, so if he's going to progress, he's really going to have to get in people's faces. He's going to have to get aggressive and really take it up to them. Yeah, just he, he sometimes tends to get into his shell, but if he's uh, if he fires up and gets into it, he, anything can happen. Okay, and how is that backhand? Like we don't see that a lot in Australia. The reverse penhold backhand is, yep. is it consistent, or is it going to be a bit of a challenge under pressure? He's quite consistent at it. I mean, he he knows when to play it and when not to play it. He, he's always looking for a forehand open up off the serve, off the return. Um, but then once you get him into the rally, he'll play that return uh, with the backhand whenever's necessary, and it will probably go on, uh, especially off the return of serve. He'll give you a nice little backhand flick topspin off a short backspin serve, and it surprises you. And as you said, in Australia, we haven't seen it, so we haven't practised against it either. Okay, all right, so there you go. If you want to support a penhold player and someone that's a little bit of an underdog, but, you know, really gets out there and gives you the ball...